How has the Amazon movement, which was only a little over a year ago, right. and the movement to protect so many different immigrant groups who have been under patrol by ICE uh, in partnership with Amazon, how has that framed your race? Yeah, I mean, I, I look back at the corporate greed that's literally killed members of my family. I look back at um, the immigrants in my family. And, and this is all very personal. T today, it's Amazon. Tomorrow, it could be another company that's abusing and exploiting it, its workers. And this is how billionaires exist. I always like to say, you have not earned a billion dollars. You've exploited it. And the fact that Jeff Bezos is well on his way to becoming the world's first trillionaire mm. in the middle of when millions of Americans are losing their jobs and he has asked for donations so that he can give his workers benefits and, and time off, it's, um, that's how you become a billionaire is you cheat people. Right. And, um, and we haven't taxed him or the billionaire class or these huge corporations their fair share. And when I look at Amazon and what almost happened in Long Island City, which is my neighborhood, um, I think about the fact that our politicians were so ready to just roll out this red carpet and throw all these incentives at Amazon so that they would come. They want to be here anyway. Yeah. And we have to, as New Yorkers, understand these multinational companies want to be here. So they, what are they going to do for us? Right. Nobody asked that question. And, and this, this quote of them bringing 25,000 jobs to the city, they were literally going to bring 25,000 people to the city exactly. and plop them down in the middle of Long Island City and raise the rent prices and everyone would get smushed into th to the same subway that's already crumbling. Right. So uh, that, I, I didn't see my representative fight on our behalf. I saw our neighboring district representative fight against that deal. And I'm glad she did because I don't think that I would be able to afford to live in my district if, if that had happened. So oh, absolutely. I mean, Long Island City is the fastest growing city in America right now. I don't think people understand. So you have an Amazon, uh, headquarters that's that's plopping down with which is I, yeah, I remember saying this before that it's a real estate deal so mm -hmm. what people didn't realize is this amazon deal happened behind closed doors which was illegal in new york you didn't get community support but then there were council members who approved zoning so that all these high luxury apartments could be could pop up around amazon which were being sold to amazon workers that you just talked about so mm -hmm. what happens to a community that's there the community that's already been starved of resources the community that is living in a food desert, which has, you know, like you just said, you have a subway that's crumbling, that they're already dealing with just basic transportation issues. And then yes. suddenly their cost of living goes up. I mean, if it's affecting everybody, we have a real problem. If it's affecting, you know, it's it's gone so past the point of, of, of I mean, we are so past the tipping point at this point that it's yes. ridiculous to me that we don't see our Democratic lawmakers because this is New York City stepping up to such egregious deals or, or exactly. opening up the red carpet to it. I mean, it's not even that. They're signing onto the deals and going to welcoming parties. Yes. And I, I just, out of morbid curiosity, looked at a lot of their donations and Amazon pack is there. Amazon threw money at a lot of the people that signed their name to the letter, giving them all these incentives. And that's how this works. And it's also why I'm fighting for publicly financed federal elections. And whenever we look at my opponent, who's like, Literally, she's like, why are people protesting jobs? I'll tell you why. I've had the privilege of speaking with Chris Smalls, who was fired from his job at Amazon for standing up for the safety of his coworkers. That's why people are protesting Amazon jobs and why we aren't willing to roll out the red carpet for them. Mm -hmm. And whenever you talk about wanting to bring jobs to the district. Why aren't you fighting for a federal jobs guarantee? Why aren't you fighting hard for a, a Green New Deal? Uh, Co-sponsoring isn't enough. You have right. to be advocating every single day because there is a jobs guarantee 
uh, as part of that framework. And that's a great way to bring jobs to the district because people will be working to make sure that we're moving towards 100% renewable energy. That's a win for every single person. You are listening and watching The Nomi Key Show. Make sure to click subscribe and like and share to get those alerts on YouTube. And if you are not already, please join us on Patreon. It's our patrons who make this show happen. We are an independent media channel. What that means is that we don't have corporate stakeholders pushing us through the algorithms. Uh, We're not getting the likes and shares through bots. You guys are what makes the show function. So please, uh, we invite you to join us on patreon.com slash the Nomi Key Show.